Hello, and welcome to the Constance Mesmer podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Someone recently asked me, what is the point of meditation anyway? <laughs> I loved the question. And so in today's podcast, I am going to try and answer that for you. This morning, I decided to bring the question to spirit. I asked, what is the point of meditation from your perspective? Oh, spirit realm. <laughs> and what I heard back was a point of meditation is to become conscious of your thoughts and to master your mind so that you can enable it to focus on what and where you want, when and how you want it to. It is a practice. Meditation is the most powerful practice of being you, being you, being a conscious you ready to move through your life and your word and your days with intent, clear intent, clear purpose, clear intention of what you want, what will bring you joy, what you want to manifest into your reality. Meditation is for the contact with the real you as you are now and as you can find yourself to be, or rather as you are, at your core expression of your true self. How does meditation do this? Inside and outside of your meditation time. That's how it does it. What happens is it helps you to monitor and direct your thoughts inside meditation time. And then a natural extension of that is it becomes easier to do outside of your meditation time in your day-to-day -day life and in your interactions. It helps you to monitor and direct your thoughts to not just your thoughts to yourself, whether those are empowering or diminishing your life experience, but to direct your thoughts, which are your greatest source of communication with spirit and with all that is. Drawing those desires to you that you have put in your thoughts. It is also one of your greatest communication methods to spirit, this meditation time. Because in those moments that you're using your meditation time to focus your thoughts in connection to spirit, it occurs. You only need to be open to it and allowing the experience to happen, leaning into it and trusting what's occurring. This is why it's important to learn the soul awareness so that you can realize and recognize all the ways that spirit communicates and connects with you, not only in your meditation time, but in your day-to-day -day life. Meditation and directing your thoughts is one of your greatest methods of communication with spirit. The other is love, sitting and holding and visiting and being in that vibration of love which is source, or God, if you will. As I've mentioned before, meditation, by definition, is to think deeply or to focus your mind. And so, as a gentle reminder, I have been offering various meditation options. Some are guided meditations, where I take you on a journey so that you can remain focused on a certain objective. I've also offered options of sitting with spirit where I've taught slight communication efforts or basic communication efforts. I am going to dive into those far more <laughs> deeply after we get through the chakras. And then there's also visualization types of meditation where you hold a vision of something that you desire and you hold it and hold it and hold it and that is going to be useful as we go into manifesting. And also just you on any desire that you want to draw into your life. And we will also use meditation time when you, when I direct you and teach you to hang with God energy, God consciousness, the love light. And I'm building up to these because, because they are of different vibrational frequencies. And what does that mean? At, well, at each one, there is 
the higher you go, the less you have ego interference, basically. And you get uh, more filled with truth, source, light, love, if you will. And your own higher consciousness and your own eventually divine consciousness, that part of you that's connected to all that is. There is also another adjunct to meditation that I practice, which is contemplation, which is again, still focusing your mind. But sometimes to, for me, it involves turning it over and over, contemplating like, what is this? What is the greater meaning here? What are the unspoken truths that are playing a part behind my story? Or what might be some undercurrent foundational aspects to whatever it is I'm looking at? And we're going to use some contemplative time as we get into manifesting. It's also beautiful to contemplate when you're reading various scriptures to use contemplative awareness or contemplative prayer or contemplative approach where you're going, what's the deeper meaning here? What's the meaning behind what's on the surface? That's just a beautiful way of opening up connection to a greater truth as well. You can use that contemplative approach when you're tuning in and kind of going, all right, what's this scenario with this other person in my life about? What's the greater lessons? What's happening? And before you get into that, you can just set the intention that your heart and mind be open and that spirit and guardian angels, God, highest truth, all good, all light, love, come forward and fill you with the greater awareness of what's the dynamic, you know, what's the undercurrent and what's the greatest, you know, whether it's lessons or things that need for resolution or awareness and understanding. So you can use contemplative, not only in sacred scripture, but also the, the scripture that is your life, right? And your interactions. So um, once you start reaping the benefits and the rewards of a nice meditative practice, even if you bounce around to the various forms, you begin to realize that it is fantastic for mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health. Powerful, 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 and necessary for all of these. And so with meditation, there's various forms and various goals. You know, even clearing your mind, emptying your mind, going to source, focusing on a thing, whether it's a sacred word, aka mantra, or the dripping faucet, or the subtle sensations in your body, or using your meditation time and working through troubles and issues and getting in touch with spirit to help, all of these things. It's all beneficial. But mostly meditation and focusing your thoughts on a particular task or a particular thought or sensation or emotion like love really helps to have you get in your own control because otherwise thoughts can sometimes drive us crazy and you're really meant to be in the space of joy and love. It's where you come from. It's what your source is. And so meditation is in the long run really to get you back to the infinite being that you are. Without your ego mind or inculcations derailing your experience, but instead living and working and being from that space of love and light and I'm going to use those words again, higher vibration, <laughs> the lighter sense of being. All right. So anyway, I am so glad you joined me today on this little look at what's the point of meditation anyway. I hope you've garnered some wisdom from our time together. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Constance Mesmer here. I just want to do a shout out of big thanks to all the members. I am so grateful. And all the people dropping in and giving little donations here and there and super thanks and all that stuff. I really appreciate you. You uh, members and you people contributing and subscribers are what help me bring this content to everyone, really. They both contribute to the cost of production, and I am definitely grateful for that. This stuff is not cheap to put out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So every little bit helps, and I am um, filled with gratitude that you're stepping up. I am not necessarily a joiner, not usually, but there are environmental issues and other um, organizations that I do belong to and I contribute to because I like to see them persevere. And I'm hoping you feel the same about this work. I hope you put it into practice in your life. That's another way that you could spread this work um, and help 
change our world, which is what I think it ultimately does. As you know, I think if uh, everyone tuned into their soul senses, the world would be a much better place. So when you subscribe, it's a big yes vote for the content and it helps spread the work across the planet. So when you put the lessons into practice and subscribe and like and share, you help me help you carry the lesson beyond you and me. And I am just really grateful. Legally speaking, this podcast is presented solely for educational, spiritual, and entertainment purposes. It is not intended as a substitute for medical diagnosis, treatment, or the advice of a physician, psychotherapist, or other qualified professional. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat a health problem or condition. Always check with your doctor. Thank you.